Pisces, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic. This reading is for any of you that have a Pisces placement, Sun, mind, sun Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, remember, this may play out from the other person's perspective. Whoever is on your mind could and can show up in, in your energy. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, let's get into it. So, all right. I hope you're all doing good and you're keeping positive. Let's see what's happening in your energy. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Pisces, what I'm seeing here is there's somebody that has been playing games and there's some sort of betrayal here or dishonesty or a painful ending here because somebody is gaining the clarity and, you know, um, wow, you have all four aces. So it's not all doom and gloom. I want to say that. But what I am seeing here is that there's some kind of um, toxic energy here. I'm hesitating because it's kind of like there's a lot of celebration going on here over a new beginning, okay, a new start, and I feel like there's also though been a lot of betrayal, um, a lot of dishonesty. Somebody's doing whatever they can to get what they want. Somebody needs to protect themselves here because somebody is... There's a very painful ending here because somebody is willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want. It's a very selfish, controlling energy. Be careful of that, okay? It's not going to be for all of you. Um, what I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to dig in the vintage deck as well because I'm getting a lot of mixed messages. But if some of you are seeing 1111, uh, you could be dealing with a twin flame now or coming towards you in the future. But there is a new blessing coming in here, either for you or whoever you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Taurus, an Aries. Those are the main signs I have, okay? Um, those are the strongest energies I have. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on. What is going on for Pisces? What do we need to know? Again, you know, some of this may resonate from your viewpoint or the other person's viewpoint. It can be a family member, a friend, a love interest, a crush, an ex. It could be somebody new. Somebody is ending something, something new is beginning. But what I don't really, doesn't matter whether I like it or not, but what I don't, ah, there has been a lot of stress and a lot of backstabbing betrayal. And somebody is like needing to guard themselves because it's kind of like gonna find out the truth that there there's been some dishonesty here wow uh, somebody wants a break from the heartbreak they feel like you know this is just they're gaining the clarity here i need to protect myself wow what if i the four of swords why is the four of swords here that's going on a break after heartbreak okay because somebody here feels in the dark I've gotten my heart broken. I just want to break. I'm trying to decide whether or not to go left or right. So somebody feels betrayed. And they're just needing a break. Hmm. Okay, so why the two of swords? Is this about the direction? Okay, I see. Okay, so somebody has been kind of like trying to maintain their strength here. They feel like, you know, I've, I'm weighed down with all the responsibilities here. Okay, I see. Somebody feels like like I'm just exhausted. I'm trying to have the strength to keep going here. I just want to break. So somebody kind of wants a vacation here. Or they want to break from the day-to-day -day living. They just feel like they've got a lot of pressure on them is what I'm getting. So you could be dealing with someone from your past or a soul-to-soul -soul connection here. Uh, but again, like I'm getting a level of toxicity here because it's, it's like somebody has been um, feeling betrayed, let down, like somebody's been messing with me i need to protect myself from this person it, again it's somebody very toxic it could be a capricorn aries taurus scorpio 
um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I've got Leo here strongly as well. There's a lot of air energy. So there's a lot of thinking here. But there is a new beginning coming, like I was saying. Okay, let's go ahead and clear for the Ten of Wands. Okay, could be, you know, a Libra or a Taurus. This could also be a mother figure. Is trying to have the strength to, to carry on within a family situation. Okay, Queen of Swords could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Waiting. Okay, so there could be someone here that feels betrayed by a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini here. Who is this Queen of Swords? Who's this Queen of Swords? Judgment. Okay, so it's, hmm. Ah, okay. So I do feel like there is somebody here, perhaps it feels weighed down, like I said, like a, a lot of responsibilities. I'm having to have the strength to carry on within my family here. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to build up my strength. I'm making final decisions here. So letting somebody go, cutting somebody out after feeling betrayed and let down. You know, I'm seeing the truth of the matter. I really need to protect myself, my family, my home, my children, whatever it is that you hold dear. I need to protect that. Because I'm realizing here that I have all the responsibilities and I've been blind here, you know. I, I've been holding on to all this and, and I've been very stressed here, but I, I've also been betrayed and let down. Somebody's been messing. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here for Pisces? Okay. Somebody's been feeling stuck because somebody's been keeping everything to themselves. Okay. Somebody has been, I want to say like nasty, playing games, keeping something to themselves. It can be the money, their thoughts. Why is judgment here? Oh, did you see that fly out? Wow. Okay, four of pentacles again and the seven of pentacles. So the four of pentacles in the 1970s and the 1960s deck saying the same thing. I'm stuck. I'm holding on to something. I'm waiting. Okay, so somebody's waiting to find out what a final verdict is or... An outcome is waiting. I'm stuck. I'm holding on. Okay, so waiting for what? Waiting for money or the right time? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please, for Pisces? I'm juggling responsibilities around. I'm waiting for a turning point. But this is also somebody that's going to have to deal with some sort of karma for holding on too tight, for being, I want to say, greedy, deceptive. It's like, I've got a lot of responsibilities to juggle around and I know everything's fate here. It's destiny. It's in the timing. Going to have to deal with karma for keeping things for myself, for waiting. I'm going to be judged. Okay. So you may be stressing out that you're going to be judged. You know, you... Again, feel free to flip these energies. It could be vice versa because you've been juggling. Maybe you've been hanging on tight to your money, waiting for money, waiting for change to come. Okay. Trying to hold, hold on, hold on to the strength. Okay. This mother figure here, family situation. Sorry, I got a very itchy eye has their sword up because they have all the responsibilities. Okay, it's a mother figure. Wife, mother, could be an ex, um, has all the responsibilities and is in need of a break. Uh, it, you know, I, I have a lot on my plate, I'm waiting. 
um, I'm holding on. Okay, so this X or this Queen of Swords, or it could be the Empress, could be both. I mean, the Empress could be also taking on the Queen of Swords energy of I'm exhausted. I need to put my sword up because I'm waiting. Um, I have all the responsibilities. I'm having to hang on to every penny here. I'm waiting. So somebody's waiting for some money. They're trying to juggle their finances around, their responsibilities around. They're waiting for things to change here. And it can be because somebody's holding on tight to the money here. They're being betrayed by somebody else um, who's setting boundaries. You know, whether this is you or this other person, um, I'm getting a very masculine energy with the emperor here and a female energy with the empress here. And it can be vice versa. Anybody can take on masculine and feminine energy. Remember that we have both. But this is definitely I'm getting a masculine energy because we also have the King of Cups. I feel like somebody is, um, it, it's like they're just wanting to party and have a good time here with the Three of Cups. And this is somebody that has betrayed or let somebody down, created a lot of stress and agony here and sorrow. And there's this uh empress here queen of swords could be an ex could be a wife a mother mother figure your own mother um is feeling weighed down with responsibilities trying to keep up their strength here in a family situation but they're feeling stuck um they're having to penny pinch here they're having to juggle because they're waiting for money or waiting for a final judgment or something like that what is this judgment re, re clarify the judgment please okay wish Okay, so we're waking up and realizing, you know, we're waiting for our wishes to come true. We're waiting for things to change. I'm having to juggle a lot around. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in your person's energy. Because remember, this can be vice versa because it depends who's watching us to whose perspective it plays out from. What's going on with Pisces person of interest now or coming toward them in the future, whoever they're dealing with? Okay, so this person's, you know, hiding their emotions. Clarify the moon energy. Why the moon? That is your energy, Pisces, the moon. Okay, that they're not sleeping well at night. They're worried, they're stressed, under a lot of pressure, have a lot on their plate. Okay, clarify the nine of swords, please. King of wands. Worried about a fire sign or worried about somebody taking action? Clarify the king of wands. Towards a Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Worried, stressed, keeping their feelings hidden that they're worried about somebody who's very passionate, very magnetic, very charismatic, going after a Queen of Cups, a water sign. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Doing this and doing that. I got to do this. Okay, so somebody's worried about being juggled between you and someone else or whoever you're dealing with. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Wow, ace of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like, you know, if this is you, the queen of cups, that could be coming up as the queen of cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Somebody's worried about maybe you taking action towards someone else. I feel more like it's this person, you know, feeling so overwhelmed and holding back penny pinching here and I feel like they're they're really all in their head here worrying about maybe you taking action towards somebody else and offering them a solid start or vice versa because there's there's too many responsibilities here and it's overwhelming for somebody clarify the two pentacles again please for Pisces person now or coming toward them in the future whoever is on their mind wow wheel of fortune on both sides So we're waiting for things to change overall. Okay, we're waiting for destiny and the timing and everything to come into balance here. Okay, should I or shouldn't I make this offer, take this action towards either you, Pisces, or you taking this action towards somebody else, or you're worried about somebody else taking action towards someone else that you're interested in. Again, take what resonates for your situation. There's a solid offer coming in here for Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Clarify the uh, Wheel of Fortune, please. Oh, cup. 
up above oh and you know what i just realized we have the king of cups here and the queen of cups so a water sign to a water sign but it doesn't have to be this can be about the love like we're on the same wavelength we have a lot of love for each other we're highly intuitive uh, we're very balanced between our head and our heart I'm making this solid offer, but I'm worried about it. Should I or shouldn't I take this action? Somebody's worried about taking the action towards a queen of cups. A mother figure. Could be a divorcee. This could be someone from the past or, again, a soul-to-soul -soul connection. Why the six of cups? Clarify the six of cups. Wow. Okay, somebody's very anxious to leave their past behind. And move forward okay i see what's happening here yeah somebody's ending one situation going towards another and there has been a lot of stress and a lot of responsibilities and a lot of having to juggle everything around especially if somebody needs to relocate it's it's um it's not going to be an easy transition it's like we're moving on to, to a place of peace and calm but before the peace and calm comes the battle so there's a bit of a battle here a bit of a struggle okay somebody's getting anxious and frustrated here because there's so much that needs to be done before i can move forward so feeling really overwhelmed financially emotionally i'm just feeling somebody here is very overwhelmed let's get the mutual energies what are the mutual energy oh that was fast okay so you and this person just want to have your stability is what i'm seeing here you're both highly intuitive at this time so trust your intuition and you've been feeling stuck tied and bound to another situation and everything you're doing right now feels like a bit of a risk here, a bit of a, of, of a uh, chance, but at the same time, Spirit is saying it's a new opportunity. can be somebody from your past. So a soul-to-soul -soul connection here, uh, I feel, could be coming in for some of you here. Okay? We're going to pull the confessions of love from your person. Now we're coming towards you in the near future, and I'll pull it near the end of the reading because I also want to get the tarot charms for, for you as well. What are the messages for Pisces from their person? So we'll pull three, one, two, and we're going to get a third. Oops. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. One, two, three. Remember which one is your strongest one you're called to, the second, your second, and your third, your third. Okay. So somebody sees you or vice versa as their home sweet home. Okay. I can, I feel like, you know, I could have a home with this person, a steady lifestyle, but right now I need to wait for the right time. That is here twice on both sides. Okay. Uh, we have the name. So this could be your name. It could be the person that's coming towards you, the person you're thinking about, or they're thinking about you, okay? The name April, Maddie, or Madeline here. Gavin, Tim, or Timothy here, okay? Yeah, see, somebody wants to anchor this connection. So it's like we're waiting for the right time. We're having to wait for a final judgment. Could be from a divorce as well. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. It can be there's a final judgment to a court case. But it can also be, you know, I'm making final decisions here. You know, and um, I'm having to juggle my responsibilities around. I'm kind of keeping everything to myself about what my plans are. What I'm thinking about is what I'm getting. Okay, you could be dealing again with a Scorpio. Okay, so definitely somebody could be taking flight here soon. There's an airplane. We could be going on a journey, on a vacation. Remember I said somebody right off the bat feels like they need a vacation. They need time away. It's been very stressful. We have the flowers. Flowers could be really important for somebody. Maybe you're going to receive flowers or give flowers or somebody loves to grow flowers and have a garden. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely seeing here that there is somebody perhaps from your past that's in your heart or this person's heart, you. Um, take again what resonates for your situation, but good luck is coming. So the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in somebody's favor here, okay? That's what I'm seeing. I also have, again, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups here on this side. And then I have the Queen, uh, sorry, the Ace of Wands here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Cups in the Tarot dice. So, and it, and the Ace of Cups. So, it's saying like 11 11, this could be a Twin Flame connection, is what I'm getting with someone who is your divine counterpart, again, or vice versa. Let's go ahead and get your um, advice, your guidance messages here. Give the messages, please, for Pisces. 
here and now. The future does not exist and the past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again because here, now, there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. So Spirit saying divine timing again. You know, when the time is right, things will take shape, take form. But be here and now, okay? Let's see what's going on for Pisces. What are the messages, please, for Pisces? What do we need to know? Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these complimentary readings. I really appreciate it. Not only that, but other people get to understand your energy better. So it's a win-win situation, whether you're watching or cross-watchers watching. We all learn from one another. So it's, it's definitely a win-win. Freedom through faith. I calm my thoughts and rise above fear. I free myself of all doubt by entrusting my doubts. I have faith in perfect timing and placement. I trust this will and I, I trust his, this will and I will find freedom. So spirit wants you to realize your own potential, be here and now and have the faith that everything is going to work out the way that it's meant to because somebody's definitely really worried, really stressing and full of fear that things are not going to go in their favor is what I'm getting. So it's either you or someone else, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get your advice and guidance messages. For Pisces, please, what advice and guidance do you have for Pisces? What advice and guidance messages do you have for Pisces? Too many. Can I get one or two, please? <laughs> two. Okay. When there are questions you need assistance with, go inward. Sit with yourself and meditate on the question. Ask for our help also. Then trust your intuition as most often the answer and guidance will be delivered to you intuitively. We are with you always. So your angels and spirit guides want you to know they're always with you, helping to guide you. And we did have high priestess here. So, you know, you are highly uh, intuitive. So trust that intuition. You wouldn't plant a seed and then dig it up every few minutes to see if it grows. So why do you keep questioning yourself, your hard work and your decisions? Have patience. Stop overthinking and keep watering your seed. So spirit says keep going. Just keep going. All right, one, two, three. Are you ready to hear your confessions from your soulmate? First message. Our love is real. Trust in us and in the guidance of the higher realm. Have faith that this is safe to, it is safe to love me as much as I love you. Our union is protected by angels and we are destined to be together. Our love is true, divine, and unconditional. So there is an unconditional divine love here that your person definitely feels is meant to be. Communication. I want to reach out to you. Please be open to receiving communication from me soon. Your response will encourage me greatly and I will be waiting to hear back from you. So you're going to have somebody reach out to you here, possibly from your past. Okay. And they're really worried about connecting with you is what I'm getting again or vice versa. Divine timing. We are on the journey and divine dance on the soul plane. It will manifest into the physical world in perfect divine timing. Wheel of Fortune came up twice, right? All we have to do is trust and have faith that all will work out beautifully. So spirit, I want you to trust and have faith because if this is a divine connection, like I'm seeing with a past love or a soul to soul connection with somebody here, trust your intuition. Everything's happening in divine timing, especially when I see the wheel of fortune popping up here twice for you. That is no accident right there. Okay. So somebody's making final decisions. I hear, I feel that are coming in. And um, it's going to bring the freedom to move forward. Somebody's getting very anxious, very nervous, uh, and a little bit frustrated here because it, it's going to take some, you know, uh, juggling around here to make everything happen. But divine timing is at play here. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Much love, much light. I wish you nothing but the very best. Leave me comments. Don't forget again to hit the like button. Notification bell if you want to be notified of future readings. Bye for now.